Hello and welcome to the new training video for the changes that were included in the new meter site manager release. There have been multiple bug fixes to the software which allows you to accurately represent your power factor now and in addition there's been a few changes made. First of all when you first launch your meter site manager you're going to see every column available. If you click on the mark column you can go through and remove whatever you do not wish to see. So in this case, I don't want to see any serial numbers. And we'll leave it at that for now. So you can fully customize every column that you want to see or don't want to see just by going here and checking or unchecking a checkbox. The next option that has changed, and this has been a request from quite a few people, as you can see, there's quite a few tests here. Previously, to print these, you'd have to go to each individual test and print them one by one. However, by clicking on the top one and Control F1, it now gives you the option to print every single test associated with that site at once. And you can print it to a PDF file, you can print it to a printer, an XPS document, you can send it to OneNote, However, you've got your PC set up to handle this type of printing. Another option that has changed is the way that the Power Master can create routes and send them to the analyzer now. So we want to say send these four sites. Create route and send to Power Master. As you can see they're here. But you can also see import analyzer's data to append with this new root. So you can now just add this data to whatever is existing in case you forgot to add these four sites previously. Another new change is we have a phantom load shortcut. This takes you directly to the phantom load test setup where you can create your own phantom load test from one easy screen. Merge a master database to a current master database allows you to actually merge two master databases that could be existing in separate places. Um, that way you will only at this point have one master database. You can also edit user field names, which was previously only capable of being done from the Power Master. And if you do data trending, previously that was had to be handled separately outside the software. There is now a data trend tool, so when you import your data, it comes with it, and you can do your data trending inside the software. Finally, the last feature, which was one that was really asked for from a lot of people, is there is now a filter function built into the database. So let's say I want to go out here, and I want to find all meters that are not a 9S. So I can go in here, does not equal 9. So this is all my sites that have meter forms that are not 9S's. Now I want to change this to any site that does not contain the number two. And here we go. Now all the sites that do not contain a number two are listed. And of all these, I want all my 45s. So I can change equal form 45. And now all my meter form 45s without sites that have a two in it are listed. If these are the ones I want to test today, go through and mark those communication create routes into power at master analyzer and so I have just filtered and created my testing for the day or the week the possibilities of the filtering is you can you can keep drilling down until you find what you want now say I want to manage these filters let's get rid of I want sites with the number two in them so I can remove that filter and they would come back up if I had any that still met the other criteria. So 
let's get rid of the meter form. And it goes back to all sites, and the only filter at this point is that it is a 9S. If I want to clear all my filters, I can just clear filters, and they're all gone. What this gives you the ability to do in large databases is to drill down and find what you're looking for relatively quickly and easily. It also allows you to determine how to build your, your test plan for the next day by, by drilling down to find what you're looking for. The filter function works on any column in here. Um, if you put your locator IDs in there, test dates, you know, so anything later than that date is now showing up. So there's there's limitless possibilities with how you can do this. Um, and once again, you just simply click in the column you want to filter. You select your filter variable. Does not contain two zeros. And that eliminates pretty much most of them. But you can always clear it and come back. So it doesn't delete anything. It doesn't hide anything. It merely shows you what you want to see. Um, that is all the, the changes for this version of software. And I hope you enjoy using it. Thank you.